Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today, NVIDIA just released the new software called NVIDIA Broadcast. Uh, I did a couple of videos in the past that they had like the RTX voice software. They have another one for the camera. Now it's one software and everything is over there. So we're going to look at the software uh, briefly. So first of all, microphone source. Uh, so if you want to remove, uh, have the noise removal from NVIDIA, you want to, to use your core on your, uh, your RT core on your uh, video card, it's pretty easy. Just select your source. So I'm selecting my microphone, my fine microphone. And after that, right now, we just have one effect. It's the noise removal. removal. You just open it. And after that, you have to select the string that you want to use it. So you can test it if you want. You can record yourself and listen yourself. So for an example, if you want to remove the keyboard uh, noise that uh, your keyboard is making because you have, I don't know, blue cherry uh, switches and it's making a lot of noises, you can definitely do that. Uh, air conditioning, your click of your mouse, whatever that you want to remove. This is pretty much for the microphone part. Also, you have the speaker part. This is more like, I don't know, you're on Discord with someone and you always hear his keyboard. So you can pretty much do the same thing that you did for your microphone, but for someone else. So you just select your source. For me, it's my DAC. And after that, you open the effect noise removal and you select the strain. Uh, also, you can definitely test it with, for an example, they, they have a sample of air conditioning over there. You just press play and you look at what, which strain that you need to put to remove this noise over there. For me, I'm not using it. Normally, I don't have any problem with my friend on Discord, but uh, for sure, I'm using the microphone one. And the last one, this is the camera part. Uh, so if you don't have a green screen and you want to use the AI uh, from NVIDIA, they, uh, it's now on the NVIDIA broadcast. So for example, you have four different effects that you can use. So the first one is background blur. So you click on it. Now, as you can see, I have a background blur. So you have the string that you can change. Right now, I see a lot of issue uh, with for both all the effects. Uh, for your uh, mic arm and also the microphone. It's it's like the software thing that is your background. Um, it's the background, it's not necessarily in front of you and it's struggling a little bit. With the background blur, it's not that bad, but as you can see here, if I want to do the background removal, uh, no, that's not a good example because the background removal is black, but take the background replacement. So you can put a video over there or a, an image. As you can see here, it struggled a little bit with my mic and my boom arm also. So if I move it a little bit, as you can see. So probably it will improve its AI, you know, they need to learn. A lot of people will use it and uh, they will definitely improve it. Also, I want to mention uh, it, it was taking 8% of usage of my GPU. So I was losing a couple of FPS in some games, for example, Apex Legion. So, uh, and they said that they're going to improve it a lot. It was pretty much the same thing with RTX Voice. I remember a lot of people uh, was complaining that it was taking like 10% of their uh, GPU. But at the end, it was like 1% to 2%. So for sure, it will improve. The last one, last feature is the auto frame. It's like someone is filming you. So it just follow you when you move. So pretty nice feature also for content creator. The good thing here is that you have effect, you can select it and I'm pretty sure they're gonna add more. So that's really cool because I have no like green screen in, uh, beside me. Uh, so I'm really impressed. Uh, one thing that I want to mention, a lot of people were asking me question, how you can capture this in your OBS. It's pretty easy. When you take your video capture source, don't use your camera. Uh, take the NVIDIA broadcast. So it will take your image in your software. And also when you do that, you can easily just remove the effect just by right clicking on the software. So if I go back, uh, my effect will not be uh, anymore in my uh, OBS. So you can definitely like remove it quickly if you don't like it or I don't know you're lagging and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it guys for the NVIDIA broadcast. If you have any questions, just come in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.